Afternoon chaps, just a speedy look at a nice tomahawk from Pathfinder School. As you can see the emblem stamped into it there. And it's made, I think, by two hawks, it seems to imply they're made of 6150 carbon steel. There was some debate on the internet about whether it was 5160, but it's 6150. So yeah, the, uh, the head's falling off as it's supposed to be doing. Now it's me loosening it up after use, as you can see it's really dug into the wood there. This is a, um, what I'd like to call like a, a kind of trekking axe, or a, well, literally a pathfinder axe, as the um, name implies. You can take off the handle, or the head, however you like to put it. And you can store it away. Because it's a carbon steel, um, this will definitely rust on you, even though it's been beautifully blued, as you can see. I mean, true, there was some wear on it already. I've used it hard over the past. Past few days, I got this as a 21st birthday present, so this is um, quite a special thing to me. But I want to use and abuse it very much, so this thing is built to be used and to last. But the, the bluing is wonderful, it's like on a kind of an old school revolver or a 1911 kind of thing. Beautiful, lovely stuff. The head comes off and stores away in its blade cover. So if you wipe it down, stick it in your bag, it won't rust on you, and this wonderful hickory handle. You can see here has a lovely smell through it. This is a, this is the wood that's used um, to uh, to smoke meat in America and also in China, I think. And it's got a very nice balance of very very light, but it's very strong, and very rigid. It also flexible enough that it won't break on you, and also very shock resistant. So this this will last for a long, long time. That's for sure. A bit small for my liking. I know this is like a travelling tomahawk, but it's um it barely fits my hand. As you can see, it's worn away quite nastily in my hand. People don't like to see that but hey that's what the, that's what this handle has done to me over the past two days. Not nice. Problem with being a city boy you see. Weekend warriors and all that. Your hands will get fucked. Very nice. Been kind of charred there as you can see. Leather accoutrements. Blade sheath. Not very well made I have to say. Um, it's just a bit kind of not very well stitched coming apart in places already. Got gaps in some of them, as you can see there. Gaps in some of the uh, leather work. They're not uh, PYM or PM, however you want to say it. Um, what are they called? Button locks, whatever they're called. Poppers, that's one. They are very stiff and they are quite hard to get on, actually. Hard to get on and they are to get off, which could be good for some, not so good for me. This is the belt loop. You stick the axe head and the, um, attach the handle through here. Hangs very nicely. I like to have it hanging with a blade Backward, so this is if this is my front over here, stomach here, back over here, so the blade hangs back. So then the stick, sorry, then the, the handle kind of dangles forward of your knee so it's not banging around all the time. It feels very light to um, to actually carry this, which is very nice. Once again, some poor workmanship, especially for something that's made in America, supposedly. Single stitching there, and then it's been super glued in there, which isn't good, and it hasn't been dyed. I mean, come on, Pathfinder School, it's for a hundred dollar uh, tomahawk, I know that's not an awful lot, but when if you pride yourselves on being made in America, I'd say do a better job, otherwise people will just move to China, as is happening more and more. I'll just get it back onto the, uh, the stock again. Actually, no, there's something I want to show you inside. There you go. And where's the light? You might be able to see that hole. There you go, you can see it perfectly now. Now that, I've contacted them about, they still haven't got back to me. I think that's something to do with the casting process, because I imagine this is a cast head. But I'm a bit worried, given this carbon steel, that rust is going to eat that out completely and just ruin it. So I'm going to check whether I should put epoxy in there. If you have any suggestions, guys, please do. Um, please do tell me. Because um, I, I don't know really. I mean, for I kind of want this thing to be solid. But maybe that's maybe that's just me. Maybe it's supposed to have a hole there, but I doubt it. It's not a finished hole. That's for sure. It's kind of like a, a broken through hole. Good hammerhead here. Let me just put it back on the stock. As you can see, very easy to do. Just drop it down. And then it's not going to be solidly in there, but it's good enough. Good hammerhead here. Bang things away. Wonderful edge. It isn't as sharp as it was before. It came actually shaving sharp. Not face, not um, uh, stubble shaving, but I mean arm hair shaving. Hair popping sharp, that's the one. But all in all, it's just a very nice bit of kit. Shame about the finish, 
of the overall thing, except for the bluing, of course. But I suppose for the money, it's better than those kind of those cold steel creations for just a quarter of the price. This thing's four times that, four times their twenty-five pound tomahawks. But this will last you a hell of a lot longer, and it has just to me kind of like a better heritage, really. Probably. Any questions, guys? As always, just far away. If you want to know about the shipping and that kind of thing over to over to England, just uh, put them down in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Cheers, guys.